Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here's some shocking news. The organization that runs the web camera uh, that we see, see the live view um, here of Old Faithful, Yellowstone Forever, has gone broke. They're shutting down, closing up. The Yellowstone Forever Foundation or entity has its hand in many pies and in my opinion looks like to be a Ponzi scheme. They have a web page www.yellowstone.org who we are about Yellowstone forever. They're now asking for support to keep the park open evidently. They call it the resiliency fund. It says here we are restructuring Yellowstone forever in order to focus our mission supporting Yellowstone National Park through financial contributions and to ensure the long-term viability of our nonprofit organization so that we can maintain the trust and support of many supporters and donors. As part of the restructuring, the board of directors and the acting president and CEO have decided to reduce the number of full-time employees and to suspend the work of the Yellowstone Forever Institute. Yellowstone Forever will be focused on projects designed to raise money for direct contribution to the park. Yellowstone National Park fully understands and support this restructuring plan and believes that it will help make Yellowstone Forever become a stronger partner moving forward. Yellowstone Forever is the official nonprofit partner of Yellowstone National Park. Our mission of engagement and support through philanthropy and education for the park will ensure Yellowstone remains for generations to come. And they're blaming it on the COVID virus, even though they knew there was problems going back as far as 2016, when the Yellowstone Park Foundation and the Yellowstone Association became one. Back then, the 11 educational park stores with a gross income of over $4.9 million uh, proceeds that went directly to the park. The National Forever Institute, which offers more than 600 in-depth programs each year. It was also a support program for over 50,000 Yellowstone enthusiasts raising funds to support critical park priority projects. It also says here that Yellowstone Forever, formerly the Yellowstone Association and the Yellowstone Park Foundation, is the official 501 nonprofit partner of the Yellowstone National Park. Jeff Brown was the executive director back then. He was director for over 19 years and three months until the merger happened. It says here the Yellowstone Association had an annual operating budget of about eight million five hundred thousand dollars and a staff of about 55 full-time employees and now he's working at the alaska geographic uh, group it looks like so in july of 2016 he either resigned um, was asked to leave or jumped ship the yellowstone forever post on facebook says they are the official nonprofit partner of Yellowstone National Park. On June 1st, they asked for donations to keep the people who work there and the park up and running. It says uh, here about the National Park facing a real challenge due to the coronavirus pandemic impacting all park operations, including the important work of park rangers and long-standing research projects. So Yellowstone Forever is taking credit, it sounds like, for the park rangers and the research projects. And there was a few posts on here, um, some of them from two days ago and some from today. It says here, so disheartening to see the Institute is no longer. This is the worst mistake Yellowstone Forever could have made. Shame on the board members. This is going to be a mistake Yellowstone Forever will not heal from another from kathy hines does he even still have a job 
or was he one of this week's casualties? Don't waste my time asking for money until you get rid of the current board. And for the record, the best thing to come out of Wichita Falls. Another post. When Yellowstone Forever was formed, I was one of many who refused to renew my membership. The writing was on the wall, and I knew the new organization could not be trusted. Like I said, it's sounding more like a Ponzi scheme, at least to me. That's my opinion. I wish more than anything that I was wrong. But no, by killing the Yellowstone Foundation, you have proven me right. Shame. It's all about money for you now. And then there's a link to an article. I'll show you that in a minute. Another comment, so disappointing, although not surprising to hear about the financial mismanagement leading to this shuttering. Shame on all of you. It went from a wonderful 87-year-old education-minded group to one that is five to six times a week. Simply did fundraising. They did not send out notices when your annual dues were due. Instead, they pump people for money. I was upset. I was upset about the merger and learned the then director was making uh, three hundred uh, and three thousand dollars. The business um, Ekman reflects more of a CEO model, not a true nonprofit. Is that what the board wanted? The failure of this organization? So disappointing. Yes, it is. Like I said, they had their finger in many pies. Yellowstone Forever Corporate Partnerships. Yellowstone Forever's Corporate Partners Program encourages corporations to be stewards of Yellowstone National Park by joining a group of like-minded peers who believe Yellowstone should be forever. One of their media pages says they have 500,000 supporters worldwide representing 105 countries. 600 educational programs, 11 park stores at uh, shopyellowstone.org. Well, those stores are now closed and all employees are out of work. 300,000 online community members worldwide. 90% supposedly of every dollar raised goes to the Yellowstone National Park. I find that very hard to believe. I was told that one CEO made a million dollars. Every year, Yellowstone Forever funds 25-plus priority projects for the park to ensure that Yellowstone remains preserved and protected for always. I guess they are involved in uh, the refurbishing of trout and the wolf program and other things. They mention the rangers again, strengthening the effectiveness, safety, and efficiency of rangers, as well as the rich tradition of rangers in Yellowstone. Are they going to lose their jobs too? Who pays them? They're sure taking credit for the rangers there. Here is a closer look at some of our projects and the partners who make them possible. All these corporations donated to Yellowstone forever. And we know that Canon is the one that has the camera up and running. Coca-Cola, Anderson. Um, yeah, look at Michelin, Toyota, Wells Fargo. What else they got here? I got the Michelin Partners. And we'll come down even farther. It says here, Pete Selleck is the chairman and president. Conoco Phillips. Evidently, they help restore more than a thousand miles of trails, providing protective equipment to keep fire personnel safe, restoring and preserving inspiration point, historic landmark. Now, we know the last few years when fires break out at Yellowstone, they just let them burn on their own. They do protect structures, but, um, yeah, the trees, the wildlife, yeah, they are often lost. Toyota, partner since 2004, donated $1 million to support the development of a new Yellowstone youth camps. Um, Solar-powered and reused Camry hybrid battery packs at the Lamar Buffalo Ranch. During the design of the new Old Faithful Visitor Education Center, Toyota engineers shared knowledge gained during the construction of its Gold Lead Certified Office Complex in uh, Torrance, California. Canon Technology, yep, they have the eyes on Yellowstone. They have the Old Faithful Livestream that supports Livestream 
Um, so seeing how Yellowstone Forever is now defunct, what's going to happen with a live camera when the camera goes down? Is people going to be paid to get it up and running again? Like I said, Yellowstone Forever has its hands in many pies. Through the changing lens, Canon installed seven climate stations that collect data to monitor weather events and sound monitoring equipment. That's new technology uh, for volcanoes to identify migration patterns of animals and birds. Right. The youth camp, which will be closed, it says, as a residential environmental learning center, the new campus creates a university accessible place of learning, includes classrooms, sleeping rooms, a commercial kitchen, a dining hall, and more. All going to be shut down. Yeah, you want to send more money into this Ponzi scheme? Sponsorship will be customized based on interest and level of support. If you gave $50,000, you got your company name on a dedicated bear box. If you donated $100,000, you got their name in a magazine, company name in a Yellowstone Forever annual report, company name on the honor wall at the Old Faithful Visitor Education Center, which is also closed. If you donated $250,000, opportunity to hold exclusive company event within the Yellowstone National Park. Yeah, so if you want to hold an event at the park, you had to pay them $250,000. $500,000 also got your name inside of one of their biannual publications, Insider. Company name on the honor wall at the Old Faithful Visitor Education Center, etc. A million dollars, what does that give you? Just shows you the amount of money they were bringing in. And they went broke. Got your name in the Yellowstone Forever biannual publication. Uh, you get to hold exclusive company events within the park. And you got your name on the honor wall at Old Faithful Visitor Education Center. www.yellowstone.org Plan your dream trip. Get your planning started for a future trip. Yellowstone with our guides, maps, and trip planning resources. Visit virtually at home activities. So how many of these people are going to lose their job? Acting President and CEO, Edna Johnson. Terry Atwood is the Vice President of Retail Operations because the gift shops and bookstores are now closed and will not be opening. Uh, Senior Director of Park Projects. Director of Retail Operation, Human Resource Manager, uh, Senior Director of Corporate Partnership, uh, Senior Manager of Foundation Relations, Program Manager Institute. And how many people worked under these people? Senior Graphic Designer, IT System Administrator, Senior Naturalist, uh, Program Manager, Supporter, um, engagement, whatever that is, Vice President of Operations, uh, Rob Bush, <laughs> Accounts Payable Manager, Chief Marketing Officer, we got Director of Society, what job is that? Controller, controller of what? Project Manager, Manager of what? Uh, Research Librarian, Chief Development Officer, Park Store Associate, that's at the airport, I guess that's going to be closed too. Facilities Maintenance Manager, Chief of Staff, Program Coordinator Institute, Information Specialist, how much money did these people make? Director of Online Engagement, Facility Assessment, yeah, you can't click on any of their names, uh, Warehouse Associate, Director Stewardship and Events, Director Institute Programming, uh, Regional Director of Philanthropy, yes, yeah, so all the rich people can donate their money, Data Coordinator, South Territory Manager, uh, Park Store Lead Associate at the airport, yep, they're out of work, Warehouse Associate, worked in a warehouse, probably stocking up the different stores and gift shops and bookstores. Senior Manager, Stewardship and Events, Social Media and Digital Content Manager, 
uh, research librarian, park store lead at Old Faithful. Sorry, Abby, you don't you don't have a job anymore. I don't think. I'm the buyer for all the goods that they sold at the gift shops and bookstores. Um, a naturalist too. Park store associate at the airport. Yep, you're out of a job. Regional director of philanthropy. Um, accounts receivable coordinator. Direct institute operator. Like I said, each one of these jobs, how many people worked under them? Vice president of education. Stewardship and digital media specialist. Vice president of human resources. Naturalist one. Where are we seeing naturalist two? Human resources um, generalist. Director of fleet and field campus operations. Oh, we got another naturalist two. Naturalist two citizen science specialist. Warehouse lead. Oh, you guys are out of a job. Director of communications. Director of annual fund. Director of board relations. And that's all they have on there. But I want to show you this. Not sure if this is up to date. Board members. Kay Yeager. Formerly mayor of Wichita Falls, Texas. Edna Johnson. Head of communications and brands at Mitchell, North America. Um, Edna Johnson, actually. Joseph P. Morshuk. Shack. Um, president of Conoco Phillips, Alaska. Um, he's on the board. Um, Caroline Heppel, life member of the Sierra Club. Uh, Tom Detmere, secretary, is CEO and president of Center Stone Technologies Incorporated. Kevin Butt is the environmental um, subsidiary director of Toyota North America. John Costello, Lisa Eva, Annie Graham, Charles Kaufman, Susan Roeder. Now this is all public information on their website. Says so she's enjoyed more than 20 years in the building industry with Anderson Corporation, the largest window and door manufacturer in North America. Jacqueline Rooney is currently on Facebook's internal and corporate uh, communications team in San Francisco, where uh, she also served as chief of staff to the campaign manager for Governor Mitt Romney's 2012 uh, presidential campaign, along with serving on the San Francisco Zoo's second board. And she is the founder and chair of Yellowstone Forever, Young Patrons Committee, Bob Rowe, co-chair of the Institute for Electric Innovation and part of the Edison Electric Institute, a member of the American Gas Association, Board of Directors, and Western Energy Institute, etc., etc. Doug Spencer, the sole priority of Spencer Associates, a management consulting firm in Evergreen, Colorado. Michael Solot. He evidently is an investor. He is the managing director of Chicago Capital Partners. John Walda, uh, serving as interim president and CEO of Yellowstone Forever. Walda recently retired as president and CEO of the National Association of College and University Business Officers. And that was in Washington, D.C. Elizabeth Webb. A senior fashion executive with more than 40 years of industry experience managing a chain of high-end department stores in the San Francisco Bay Area and consulting for clothing manufacturers in New York City. Now that I got that out of the way, I want to show you some more stuff. This here is showing how they were hurting back in 2019. Heather White, who took over as CEO in 2016, um, step down in 2019 uh, says that they will begin offering large discounts on its summer programs just weeks after reporting layoffs of some staff the discounts 30 to 40 percent off all Yellowstone Stone Forever Institute field seminars were announced last week Thursday blah 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 Heather evidently raised 
millions of dollars for the organization. Uh, White, who was paid $300,000 a year uh, when salary and other compensations were combined at that time. And it goes into uh, more of the layoffs. Six employees were laid off the month before. Now, this recent article says that Yellowstone Forever, which has struggled financially since 2016 when it was formed by the merger of Yellowstone Foundation and the Yellowstone Association, it's got nothing to do with the coronavirus. But they're saying that they have been further impacted by the coronavirus pandemic and might, might not survive without significant reductions in its financial burden. It says on Friday, most of their staff was laid off. And several months after a financial audit of the organization prompt concerns that there is substantial doubt about the ability of Yellowstone Forever to continue as a going concern. Right now, they have really no cash reserves. They have accumulated massive debt once again. It says Yellowstone Forever Communication Director said that they will not return this year and most unlikely will not return next year as well. Uh, talks about the financial review from 2019, the financial review of uh, this year. Uh, says they want to reduce redundancy and review vendor contracts, vendor contracts for potential savings. The statement, which did not include the recovery plan, also noted that Yellowstone Forever has two lines of credit totaling $6.5 million with $3.7 million available as of February 2019 that could fall back on in the event of anticipated liquidity needed donations um in 2019 11 million dollars plus the cost of operating a dozen stores in the park was only what do i go here 3.3 million dollars for the fiscal year ending in 2019 while the stores generated 2 million seven hundred and thirty thousand uh 222 dollars in net sale of revenue and seven hundred eighty-two thousand dollars in supporter contributions. So, out of one side of their mouth, they say they have no cash available. But according to the institute's um, own financial record, they got millions of dollars still available, and they're shutting down. According to the organization financial record for twenty nineteen. Overall salaries jumped to nearly $1 million from 2018 to 2019. While White, when she was the director, she got $303,000 and then it jumped to over a $1 million. Overall, however, the financial document showed Yellowstone Forever ended the fiscal year with $14.6 million in assets. And they've laid off who knows how many people, paid themselves millions of dollars in wages, and um, are threatening to, what? What's it got to do with the park rangers? Fire suppression, etc. This was published yesterday on the National Parks Traveler. I'll give you a link to this website. And I'll also give you a link to all their financial reports. Um, you can click on them and it'll take you to um, different years. Another finger in the pie they had was Gateway Business Partnerships. The Yellowstone Forever Gateway Business Partner Program. Um, these are cities and towns outside of Yellowstone that became partners by donating huge sums of money to get their little logo put up on um, Yellowstone.org's website. Um, you got $500, $1,000, $5,000, and $10,000 one time or monthly. Um, they do require a $10 minimum monthly gift. 
So, um, who was it? Toyota that donated the weather stations and the monitoring for um, Yellowstone and its activity. Um, Canon donated the money to keep the camera up and running. Um, what's going to happen to all those different programs? And is this being investigated? Um, there should be some fallback for what's going on. Sorry, this is so long, but um, yeah, this is important. How could private organizations come in and take over and control so much of one of our and the oldest national park here in the United States? What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you for your support. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.